okay guys actually about to start seasoning up my chicken i'm gonna be cooking um baked chicken today for dinner so i'm gonna break from work really quick i'm gonna season up the meat really quick and then also i'm gonna be making um some banana bread so i took the butter out to let it get a little soft so i'll be making that as well i need to wash my hair but i'm gonna show you guys um really cool that i'm gonna be using to season it and then just like i said let it sit until later on so the season can marinate and i can bake the chicken let me show you guys so this is season i'm going to be using um paprika black pepper some thyme poultry seasoning some lowry's of course i have some garlic and then also some onion powder and then i'm going to just clean the chicken with some vinegar really quick For those of you who don't like to see people cleaning meat or you don't eat meat, definitely skip forward if you don't want to see this. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Natasha. I'm a full-time working mom of four. And on my channel, I bring you guys things on lifestyle, motherhood, and home, which includes cleaning motivation, organization, day in the life type videos, home updates, anything that has to do with being a wife and mom, you'll definitely find it here. So I definitely love for you guys to subscribe and stick around. We're growing here. And for my new and my old lifestyle family, Thank you guys for coming back and always watching my videos and supporting. I love all the comments. And again, let me know what you guys are up to in the comments today, what's going on in your life, what you guys are dealing with. And let's continue to go ahead and get into the video. really rough so excuse me but it's been a long day um, this is real life over here I already put the rice on for the chicken so I actually helped me the chicken is in the oven I just need to cut up my onions and my green peppers to put it in there and then also I'm gonna start baking the banana bread I already added my mixed ingredients in there I'm about to smash up my dry ingredients and mix it together I do have that over my pinches as well a couple of um, recipes for banana bread I'm actually going to be adding some chocolate chips to this and then I'm probably going to try to do a banana um, pumpkin bread one on another video but let me show you guys really quick what I'm doing yeah. here's to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best and say to get dressed and then we cry 
I definitely like to multitask and I usually wash clothes at least try to do it at least a few times a week because we are a family of five and it just helps me keep up on things so therefore on the weekends I don't feel overwhelmed Cause we don't got forever tell the truth just spit it out this feeling is the worst of things just let me go and let me in I just basically did a pack of the same vegetables. I'm gonna probably add a little butter on there and then I did just a plate of, or um, a pot of white rice. I wanted the flavor rice, but he got white rice, so we're using that. And I just put the, I just put the um, banana bread in the oven. So now I'm gonna just clean up all the dishes. Jay's doing homework with Mason. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna go ahead and wash the dishes out and then I'm gonna start putting all my Halloween stuff on the table because I'm gonna start cleaning the kitchen, deep cleaning because I'll be decorating for Christmas soon. And I just want the house to be fresh and clean before. I was showing you guys really quick some leftover residue from the bats, which I did throw out because I do have a big pack of them and I reused those from last year. So it just was time to get rid of those. And now I'm going to just continue getting everything cleaned up off of these countertops. So when we come back again, I can do my deep cleaning in the kitchen.
The bread turned out delicious. I did add drizzle, but I forgot to show you guys. Good morning, you guys. I know I promised to show you or let you guys know how I felt about the, um, what is it? I don't even know what to call this thing. The twist butter and the, or twist cream and then the co-wash. It actually, the co-wash was very thick. Um, I had to actually open up the bottle to get the cream out of there. I tried to um, squeeze it out and it would not squeeze out. So I basically just opened up the bottle to get it out. Um, and then for this, and when I was washing my hair, to me it felt a little stiff, but not too, too much, but I still got some conditioner and rubbed my hands through my hair just to make sure that it was still moisturized. And this is the twist butter, which you guys see is like very thick. It's a thick cream. So I'm gonna try this out as I style my hair really quick. I'm getting ready um, for work. I actually jogged this morning. Well, of course I've been exercising. So yeah, my hair is clean, it feels clean, looks good. So I'm gonna just use um, this Cantu leave-in butter. I'm gonna use that. And then I'm going to uh, add the twisting cream in there to twist my hair really quick so I can go get ready for work. Or sorry, clock in for work. I wanted to be on from earlier, but I had to wash my hair, it was too sweaty. So that's what I did really quick yeah so I usually um, do my hair once a week sometimes it may go um, every two weeks just depends on how I have my hair styled right now like I said I'm gonna just basically put some chunky braids in there and I'll probably put two braids in the front and basically what I'll do is I'll leave the two braids in have the rest in the back um, braid it and then I'll take that out and just let it be, you know, like a curly um, ponytail type style or whatever. And my hair doesn't shed a lot. A good amount comes out because I don't comb it during the week. So, of course, you're going to have some shedding or whatever. But I just want to show you guys really quick. Me using this cream, which I didn't use. I only use like this much. Rub it in my hair. I'm going to put the braid in, and then after I finish braiding everything up, I'm going to rub some oil, which I have some tea tree oil, rub some tea tree oil in my hand, and then just rub my hands through my head, and that'll be that. Kids are already off to school. Mason actually had a dentist appointment yesterday. He had a little cavity on a tooth that's going to fall out, but we still had to get it filled because, of course, you don't want it to get worse and go down into his gums. So we did that, and then Sanaya has a dentist appointment tomorrow. She's going to get her orthodontic um, treatment, and then also she'll be getting her cleaning done. So we try to do everything in one because, of course, Anaya is in a wheelchair, and it just makes things a little easy. Um, and I think tomorrow's going to be first day she'll be using her new wheelchair. So I'll try to show you guys a little snippet of that as well. And I'll come back in later and show you guys the finished product. So this is how the other side is going to look. I have one two, three, four, five plaits over here. And then I have this braid up front. And what I'll do when this dries, I'm gonna basically just pull it back and have it up in a nice curly, you know, ponytail or however I wanna have it. But basically it's gonna be in a protective style for a few days and then I'll take them out. But yeah, that's basically it. And I'll, you guys can see how the twisting butter works when I take it out. But that's how it looks, you guys. Hey friends, we are on another day. Um, some time has passed from I did my last video. I'm actually in the kitchen. In the kitchen now, I'm going to start with getting my deep cleaning done. The goal for today is, because I took down the bats and stuff off the cabinets, I'm going to wipe behind the um, stove. I've been wanting to do that for a while, wipe it off on the sides. And then I'm going to wipe the top of the cabinets off. And then also, um, the front of the cabinets. I may also do inside the garbage can bin because the garbage needs to dump. So I might also do inside that little area, <laughs> that little area in the bin as well. Um, I think that might be all that I do for that deep clean for today. I don't want to do too, too much. I'm actually pushing to do this because I want to get this video done and get it over with so I can start getting 
um, a few little pieces of Christmas up. I do have one more thing I want to purchase for myself, which was a vessel that I've been looking at for a while now from Pottery Barn. I was going between that and something else, and I think I'm going to just get that vessel for now. So that will be probably one thing I'll be ordering. Also, the toaster oven is finally taking a crap, so that has to be replaced. And then also, while I do that, I might also just go ahead and get the new Keurig out the way as well. Um, just trying to do one thing at a time. Coming with the new year, we will be having some projects starting up again. So you guys look forward to seeing that. We'll take it one room at a time. We will probably start on the outside of the house because there's some things I need to get done like now on the outside and then make our way, whatever, make our way into the inside. But enough rambling. I'm going to start uh, wiping down the stove and behind it. Stop it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. So this is how the stove is looking. You guys see that is really disgusting. Yeah. This is behind the stove. That fell down. The inside of the stove at the bottom is already clean. This has some soft scrub sprayed up there. I'm going to just use a Brillo pad to wipe that off. And this is the other side of the stove. There you go. And then, as I said, I'm just going to wipe off the front parts of the cabinets on the top. And then also up there, I'm sure it needs to wipe down right now as well. You think you know me. Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. You think I'm slowly.
everything's been taken off the counters over here. So I'm going to just get those wiped down really quick and put everything back. And then I'm going to attack inside this um, garbage bin here. I'll show you guys that when I open it up. Once a month I like to use about a cup of water with some vinegar just to make sure my kettle does not have any type of buildup in it and give it a deeper clean.
is how everything looks, nice and clean. I'm going to use the water from here that I use to clean the teapot and throw them inside the garbage bins while I wipe out in there. And I just wanted to wash this out and clean out um, this diffuser. You guys see the oils caked up in there. So I'm gonna spray a little spray in there and let that sit for a minute and then just wipe it out. Let that sit for a few minutes. Jay is actually, Jay is actually been working on the wall where the um, AC is, he decided to try to bring it over some, so he's giving himself some more work, but he wants to get it done properly. He had to push it over and put some wood in behind the wall, so he's working on that right now. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. There we go. So we have to cut all of that out and add wood. So that's what he got going on over there. And here it looks so disgusting. Look at that. So it's gonna be hard for me to show you guys me doing it, but I'm gonna film as much as I can, showing me wiping it out really quick. New to me, the way that you're moving so differently. This is all I want So if you make a move I promise I'll be there too Ooh. Give me time and wait you know, I will be there before you have to wait for me Been hiding away for too long Cause all I need is to be just like this In the time and place Give me a time and
now that my deep cleaning is finished in the kitchen i'm going to continue just getting everything tidied up i hope so far if you're still here this video was able to give you guys some motivation to get some things done around your home it also gave you some hints maybe you haven't deep cleaned your kitchen in a while there's some areas that you need to touch i hope this inspired you to do that and if you're still here watching definitely leave me an emoji down in the comments below leave me a black heart why not Jay had already mopped the floor and stuff yesterday, but being I was doing that cleaning in here, I just wanted to wipe off in here again. And that is it. That is some of my um, Christmas stuff. And then my DIY art stuff that I have to do um, hopefully soon and share with you guys. But that is it. The kitchen is clean. It's fresh. All my Halloween decor and stuff is taken down. And I deep clean the area. This fridge was actually clean a few months ago underneath, so I'll probably do that maybe... Maybe in the next video I'll still pull it out just to clean it before the new year and wipe off that cabinet up there. But that is it, you guys. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going to go actually take some towels out the dryer, fold those, and put Mason's clothes in the dryer to um, dry. And that's basically it. going to go spend the rest of the day with the family. It's early. You guys know the time has changed. So it's we got an extra hour, but it still feels kind of late. And I just want to be able to relax for the rest of the day with them. And enjoy them so again i hope you guys enjoy this video and see you guys next time